Recommended broker is Longhorn FX. It's an ECN broker dedicated to delivering a superior trading experience to traders. Hi traders, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about risk entries and in particular front running our risk entries. Now, front running involves placing your pending order a few pips above or below the order block itself, rather than waiting for price to tap into the order block. Now, as you can see here, we've got a pretty basic setup with Apollo Line tool. We've got a 4-hour trend, cause we're on a 4-hour chart. We've got a 4-hour break of market structure. We've identified our imaginary order block here at the bottom of the previous swing low. And now we pulled back into it. And as you can see, we've just tapped in. Now the idea of front running it is that you can get not quite as an accurate entry, but you don't have to wait for it to pull so deep into the order block. Now, this is something that more of a beginner technique as you're learning. You'll probably prefer to start with risk entries before you look at confirmation entries and reduce risk confirmation entries. And as you can see, we've tapped in and activated our pending order. Now the only issue with a front run risk entry and a 50% risk entry are the fact that you don't actually have any idea how far you're gonna tap into the order block. So, we can come all the way down to the bottom of the order block, tap into the top, or even run completely past the order block. Now, as you can understand, the reason it's called a risk entry is because it is riskier than a confirmation entry. In the entry with a confirmation, you're waiting for the change of trend. You're waiting for some commitment and a pullback to a new order block on a lower time frame. With a risk entry, you're merely getting in at the front or the middle of the order block and hoping for the best. Now let's come down and look at this on a chart and see how it would be used on a live trade. Now, what we've got here is a USD, JPY on a 4-hour time frame. I'm gonna mark up the 4-hour break of structure. As you can see, we're in a bullish trend here. So here's our 4 hour break of market structure, we're gonna track back and we're gonna mark up our order block. As we know, it's the last bearish candle before the move, that broke structure, so this is our order block here. We're gonna put it through, as we know a risk entry, we're gonna place it at the top of the order block or front run it by a few pips, depend on how you choose to manage this trade. Just gonna target the top here for an example, and put the stop loss down below the bottom of the order block. Let's play through, see if we get tagged in. Created some equal lows, so now we should tap in there. We sweat liquidity there and tapped into the order block. So as we can see here, this was an effective risk entry. We've tapped into the order block, we've gone past 50% and then we've continued up, to where we should hit our swing high as our target. And there we go, that's a brief breakdown and a very quick example of how to use risk entries. We'll move on to the next example, which is how to use the 50% equilibrium. We'll explain why we use that, how we use that and how that's used with our risk entries. Entry option 2. This is the 50% equilibrium entry, where we place the risk entry in the pending order at 50% of the order block. Now, the reason we do this, is due to the fact that these order blocks are not a set level. There are banks and institutions that are placed in orders and pending orders all the way through this block. Therefore, targeting the 50% equilibrium gives us a good chance of getting tagged in when the institutions do. But what you also have to remember is this may be frustrating for you, cause sometimes it'll just touch and go such as a risk entry when you front run it. But getting tagged in with the 50% allows you to get a tighter stop loss, usually less drawdown, still not as accurate as the confirmation entry or the reduced risk confirmation entry, but nonetheless it is very effective when done correctly. So as you can see here again, we have our break of market structure on the 4 hour example, we've tracked back, we've found our imaginary order block for this example, and what we have done is we have placed a pending order at 50%. So, let's place our pending order here. This example would just target the most recent high, and in this case, would have enabled us to place our stop loss a lot tighter. So, we've already seen a little bit of a bigger and better risk to reward than we would have on the previous trade cause we're allowing this to tap 50% into the order block. Therefore, it's mitigated more of the order block and leave us with less gap for our stock loss to be put behind. So, let's come down, look at this in a live example, we've got one drawn up here. This is GDPJPY, and same again. You can see we've had our previous high broken. We track back to our bearish candle here, which will form our order block. We would set our pending order at 50% of the order block. Once again, target the high, stop loss below, and we would then allow us to play through. 
what we can see is we'd tapped into this order block. Less drawdown than we would have if we'd placed it with a conventional risk entry by front running it. So, run that 50% has allowed us to have a smaller stop loss, less drawdown a tighter entry. Target the high again here, just for the sake of giving you guys an idea of what we'd be looking at. And there we are target hit. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and help us grow as a channel.